My brothers, my sisters, when things happen in our lives, generally we react to these things in a specific way. A lot of the times this way, the way we react to things that happen to us, is connected to our upbringing. It's connected to the programming of the hard drive that we have, the brain. So as something happens, we react based on how we were taught to react. Now, for your information, the best of creation, the most noble of all messengers, we believe very firmly, is Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. There is no doubt. We believe that the greatest gift that Allah has bestowed upon us is something known as Iman. Iman meaning, I believe in Allah, I believe in Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I utter the shahada, la ilaha illallah, Muhammadur Rasulullah. And I bear witness that there is none worthy of worship besides Allah. And I bear witness that Muhammad, peace be upon him, is his final messenger. And that means I will follow the system and the plan of Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, there are so many occasions in the life of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam where things have happened and he reacted in a way that we would not react if we were faced with the same. Why? Sometimes because we lack that education, we don't know. Sometimes because we know, but we claim that we're not prophets. Which is actually something weak. The reason is, yes, we are not prophets, but we cannot use that statement to justify the distance between us and the method of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We have to make sure that we are as close as possible. And sometimes we know it. We are educated. We understand the Prophet sallallahu reactions. We know we should be reacting in a similar way, but we're not bothered. We're too lazy. Or we just feel like it's going to be tough. It's going to be hard. I don't care. And that's the attitude we develop.